Welcome to the singles feeding drill that we're gonna call Mega Depths because we're gonna focus on hitting deeper than you've probably ever tried to target before. And that's the whole point. We're gonna incentivize Kirby and Ira to hit as deep as possible. In fact, hitting long is not going to be, is not gonna detract from their score. So here's how it's gonna work. I've set up, this is just for them to see. Uh, we have a, a pickleball line here, which is about four, James, can you zoom in on this line, please? So, uh, we're pretty sure it's four and a half feet from the baseline. This is their target area is beyond the pickleball line uh, up to the baseline. There's no penalty for them missing deep. As a team, Ira and Kirby are gonna come in, hit three shots each at a time. I'll feed them out to the corner. They'll hit, go back to the middle. Their target is anywhere between this line and the baseline. If they hit short of the line, minus one from their collective score. If they hit past the baseline, there's no penalty. So their goal is to get up to seven shots as a team, or Ira actually, actually requested a, uh, a basement to this, or until they get to negative seven. So we're gonna, they're obviously two you know, very high quality players. They know there's no penalty for missing deep. I'm actually curious to see uh, how well they do. This is admittedly, like this is extremely difficult. And this is kind of part of the point of this drill is four and a half feet sounds like a lot of space, but the reality is it's a sliver in terms of depth that you could possibly hit your shot. So maintaining this depth is very difficult. We'll see how well Ira and Kirby do. If they go down to negative seven, then I would simply adjust the depth of the target for, the, for their next time in. All right, ready, Kirby? Three backhands. So that's minus one. Nice shot, that's back to even. And a little bit short, minus one. Here you go, Ira. Three, four hands. Nice, a little bit deep. Nice, back to even. Nice shot, that's plus one. Here you go, Kirby, four hands. Back to even, about a foot short. Uh, minus one, a little bit short. There's no penalty for missing deep, still minus one. Back hands for Ira. Still minus one. Minus two. Good ball, here you go Kirby. So Ira and Kirby are focusing on the height of their shots, the shape of their shots. They should be clearing the net by a good amount on these balls. Nice Kirby, just deep. Sorry about that. Nice shot, nice shot. That's back to even. You go Ira, four hands. No penalty for deep. No penalty for deep. Nice shot, that's plus one. Back, or I'm sorry, four hands for Kirby. Nice Kirby, plus two. Plus three, you know, just deep, still plus two. Nice, plus three. Back hands for Ira. Sorry Ira, nice shot. We'll give it to you, plus four. Just deep. No penalty, just short, plus three. I will give them uh, two more turns each, last two turns each. No penalty, no penalty, no penalty. Still plus two, just short, plus one. Back to even. Okay, Kirby, last turn. Nice, plus one. Just deep, no penalty. Plus two. You go Ira, last three. Got it. No penalty. Nice, nice. All right, so they finished up at positive. As you can see, this is a tiny target. We're incentivizing them to experiment and go ahead and hit it high, hit it deep, drive it strongly. Uh, it's only the short ones that penalize them here. So you, you probably want to adjust the size of the target depending on the level of your player, uh, the level of the person that you're working with. Uh, this is a great drill to work on creating big depth consistently without randomly rolling the ball short in different depths on the courts. Experiment with it, have fun with it, and enjoy your mega depths.